John, a 2-1 victory against Ayr this afternoon. Drama near the end, but three points is all that matters. Yeah, it probably is. Uh, I've said as many a time for now to the end of the season. We want to try and do it right, play good football. You've seen us against Partick, Rafe Rovers, Morton um, on the front foot. But for now to the end of the season, if it's not like that, I would still uh, win ugly. And I'll probably have done that. Uh, Ayr were a much better side in the first half. We've got Jakob to thank for one or two saves that kept us in the game. And then the second half, we, you know, we were flying with the seat of our pants, really, in terms of the shape that we put out there. We had one recognised centre half, which was Effie. The two at the side there was uh, Josh and uh, Toddy. And in front, just playing a wee sort of sitting midfield role, but helping Effie was Dan Pybus. The rest was up the pitch, trying to get there and take the game with them, because we say it at half time, I don't mind getting beat, but I'm not getting beat in the manner in which we played in the first half. So, and all credit to the boys, much, much better team in the second half. And we got our goals, which always helps. And the substitutions that you made um, paid dividends this afternoon. Reese Cole with a, a great strike from the free kick and then Nikolai Todorov as well from range. Yeah, yeah, absolutely delighted for these two guys because they've found themselves out of the team for most part of the season. But one thing I'll say about them, they've, they've always turned up on the training pitch, you get what they've got. And I've said as many a time in terms of Reese Cole, his quality is, is not, not in question. You know, it's all the other parts, but he knows that, so he's working hard at that. And then Big Toddy, Big Toddy, all credit to him for one, it's no getting probably the game time that he'd be looking for. Never puts his head down. You know, he gets on it, gets into it in training, gets on to it, and he's probably the first one that tells someone if they're not doing it right. So, absolutely delighted for him. I've said as long, it's all hands on deck. No one's got flung off the boat. I felt every one of them worked very, very hard today. We just couldn't get it going, it felt like, to me, it felt like the game, the situation got to us. We felt like we were playing the safety pass. Our passing was terrible and it was too slow. And then we stopped getting around about second balls. So we had to change that in the second half. That's why we went with that quirky shape and it worked for us. As you mentioned there, in terms of the situation, the, the pressure that the players would have known in terms of going into the game to then find themselves 1-0 down at half time to come back and not just equalise but also win the game again, it, it says a lot about their character. Yeah, it says, it says massive about their, their character they, uh, and I've got that, there, there's a good spirit, camaraderie amongst them uh, and I think they showed that second half. Listen, I'm honest enough to say it, they were the better team in the first half and should have been out of sight but there was only one team in the second half. And it was Dunfermline. We were always on the front front foot. We left ourselves a little, a little bit of the counter attack, and that, that's a gamble that you had to take. The gamble went in our way. Great time to have a gamble up against the team that you had to beat to make sure that you try to stay in the league. So absolutely delighted. You asked during the week for the fans to turn out in numbers. Did you feel they responded this afternoon? Well, we have to give them something to sing about. You know, they're entitled to boo us off the pitch. I was booing them coming off the pitch at half time, you know, that's not my team, I don't want to see that, you know, but then I have to go in there and I have to let my emotions no take over, I have to be cool, calm, collected with my decision making, uh, and I have to give the staff, Greg and uh, Stephen, you know, what we come up with, do you think that will work? And then it's about being brave, let's go for it, and I'll have to be as fast in your seatbelts, because it was everything that we tried to do was on the front foot, could have went against us, today it went for us, so I'm absolutely delighted for them.